whenever you're ready, you can push and you just take our mics out and make sure you put them back in. Uh, yeah, they'll go in the queue, Lonnie. You'll know because they'll be in the queue. Yep, just make sure you do the the Facebook. You got to repush Facebook once it streams to Facebook. You you just check the queue and make sure Facebook's pulling. You should see some comments, but during the show, just check it. From the Live X Studios in New York City, Cheesehead TV brings you two guys who like to think they know something about football. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Packer Transplants Live. I am Aaron Nagler. Joining me, as always, is Mr. Corey Banke, my partner here at Cheesehead TV. I'm coming to you live from the Cheesehead TV podcast studio in Midtown Manhattan. And Corey joins us live from Green Bay, Wisconsin, across the street from Lambeau Field. And we are ready to talk some Packers. What do we have on tap today, Corey? Today, we prepare for an epic divisional round showdown with the San Francisco 49ers on Saturday night right there in Lambeau Field. But right now, it's time for the hotness. That's what I'm talking about, Banky. I think we should start the show with the hotness, like, every week. This is, yeah, let's better, do it. That's better than the good, bad, and the ugly, I'll tell you that. Uh, obviously, no good, bad, and the ugly this week because there was no game. But I'm telling you what, people, you want some hotness? We got some hotness. A world premiere hype video from the master himself, Cody, here at Cheesehead TV, throwing it down this week. Check this out. Gas, no break. All facts, no fake. All gas, no break. I'ma do what it takes. All gas, no break. All facts, no fake. All gas, no break. I'ma do what it takes. All gas, no break. All facts, no fake. All gas, no break. I'ma do what it takes. All gas, no break. All facts, no fake. All gas, no break. I'ma do what it takes. I'ma do what it takes. Let's go, Banky. That's what I'm nice. talking about. Ow! Man, like that is so, so great. I oh my, I love Cody. I love everything he does, but that one, that one got me going. Great, great stuff from Cody, as always. I mean, it's every week, but man, that one, that one was just so good. How you doing, Banky? I haven't talked to you in a while. I'm doing all right. How you doing? Hanging in there. The Packers are in the playoffs. Did you know that? Were you aware? Yes, yes, awesome. yes. I awesome. 
Awesome. The Packers are in the freaking playoffs, people, taking on the 49ers on Saturday night. You will be in attendance, I believe. Is this correct, sir? Yes, I will be. I will be. I'll uh, I'll be up in the uh, club section outside. So, oh, uh, yeah. very nice. If you please. Very good. That's uh, that's awesome. I actually had someone on Packers Daily this morning ask me where you would be sitting, and I didn't want to. I, I a I didn't know, but b I was like, eh, I'm not so sure. Corey wants people like coming up asking for autographs, paparazzi knowing where you're at. You know, you just I don't want to inform people of that. Uh, we should talk about some Packers news probably because they're yeah. There are a number of items to get to, Uh, starting with, you know, it's rare, Corey, that we get uh, actual of the moment just happened right before we go live kind of news. But we had a little bit of that this week with the release Packers release Kingsley Kiki. This is a bit of a surprise. Um, It's interesting because he hasn't played in like a month. He missed a stretch due to COVID and he's been on the injury report with an illness. I believe it was uh, you know, tagged as, but they haven't they haven't played him in quite some time. I, obviously, it's a bit of a surprise. It's interesting timing. You have to think there's something going on behind the scenes here. Uh, I can't imagine that they're releasing a a guy who, like I said, hasn't played in a while, but suddenly you're just down in a defensive lineman. Uh, do you remember the movie JFK? Yeah, remember the movie JFK? Yeah. Yeah. Wayne Knight has a great great line reading in there. Uh, when they're talking about all the conspiracies and things like that, because I've seen a ton of conspiracies on Twitter already oh, yeah. about what may or may not have happened with Kingsley Kiki. He has a great line where he says, there's a lot of smoke there, but there's some fire. That's what I think. I think there's, there's got to be a little bit of fire somewhere behind the scenes. Maybe. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to that eventually with the crack reporting from the beat. We'll see. <laughs> uh Some more positive news. Randall Cobb, ladies and gentlemen. Randall Cobb is going to play against the 49ers. Matt LaFleur straight up said it today. He expects Randall Cobb to play. uh, Coming back from that core muscle injury, that's pretty amazing. I mean, those things can linger. They can, I mean, you know, they can take out a guy's whole season. And now here's Randall Cobb, you know, about a month removed, and he's going to be back on the field. That's, That's pretty incredible. Um. And obviously, you love getting a weapon back for Aaron Rodgers in, yeah. the, uh, in the playoffs. I'm I mean, excited nothing about wrong Randall Cobb. Nothing very, wrong with very that. exciting. On the flip side of excitement is MVS missing practice. Now, he was out there on – I'm my days all mix, messed up because of the Saturday game. It's Tuesday yesterday, right? Today's Wednesday. So he was out there on yep. Tuesday. He did not practice today. Obviously, he's trying to come back from that back injury that he suffered against the Lions. You hate to see that. I would love it if he's back out there tomorrow and available for the game, but trending in the wrong direction for MVS. Uh, backs are tricky, man. That's you don't obviously if something happens as far as setbacks or you know not responding very well, you don't want them to push through it. So hopefully sooner rather than later they get him back out there. But for today, MVS not at practice. You know who was at practice today though? Um, David Bakhtiari. That is correct. David Bakhtiari, who is indeed going day by day. It, it seems like, you know, every time Matt LaFleur is asked about it, it is the same response. Day by day, taking it day by day. Uh, wasn't out there yesterday, was out there today. We'll see how he responds. Um, but hopefully, adds another day tomorrow, and he actually plays in the game on Saturday night. That would be absolutely incredible. Um Speaking of playing in the game, both Jair Alexander and Zadarius Smith are expected to play in this game, according to Matt LaFleur. Nice. That's that good. is pretty pretty awesome. I, like I mean, it's going to be like interesting it. to see how they utilize both of them. You know, as far as you got to expect, Zadarius will most likely have something akin to the kind of snap counts that we saw against the Saints in week one, maybe a little bit more. Um but Jair, I think, is really fascinating because what do you do in the secondary? Like, who do you play where? How much is he going to be able to play? You got to th- you're going to be holding your breath when he makes his first real full-on tackle in that shoulder. Um, but obviously, you love having two really super talented players back in the mix. Got to love it. Got to love it, Banky. Gots to love it. Um, let me ask you something. Yeah. So the Packers are in the playoffs, right? So here we are, the doorstep of another, hopefully, Super Bowl run. 
we've been here before, Banky. And as of late, it does tend to end in disappointment. And I think this year, after last year, after the basically running it back with all the same squad for the most part, I think some legacies are on the line here, Banky. I think some legacies oh, yeah. are on the line. And as a, as a student of history, especially Packers history, mm-hmm. which you are, I, I want to get your take on these four gentlemen who I think of everybody, everybody at 1265 Lombardi, obviously, has, has a stake in a run to a championship. But I think these four gentlemen, more so than anybody else, have their legacies on the line in this particular playoff run. I'm going to start okay. with Mark Murphy. Mark Murphy, who hired the GM, Yep. Hired the coach, yep. had to go through everything we went through last summer in regards to the quarterback being unhappy, um, trying to make this transition whenever it may come to whoever is next at the quarterback position. If they make a run and get to a Super Bowl, if they make a run and miss it, w- w- how does that affect Mark Murphy's legacy? I mean, definitely of all the people on your list, Mark Murphy's probably the most affected by this. Um yeah. Just because it's 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 that um, it's that you know some people have that problem like oh we got all the way to the end and we didn't make it well it's a little bit like <laughs> the Buffalo Bills when they lost four oh, times man. in a row in the Super Bowl right like Marv Crazy. Levy uh, recently passed away I believe last year maybe three or four years ago and I remember right. seeing it and I remember in my head going oh yeah the guy who lost four Super Bowls. <laughs> Ouch. And like, Damn. clearly, he did more than that. But like, right. that's what legacy coach. means, amazing right? Coach. It's what right. you're, 100%. but it's what you're remembered for, right? So, right. you know, yeah, I think Mark Murphy. I think uh, it's a big deal. I mean, it's just it, it, it definitely uh, is. It, it makes the arrow trend to the right more for him, right? right. And that's not exactly. good for him. So, right. you know, that's not necessarily good. Well, it's interesting too because he's coming up. I think he was like three years away from his mandatory retirement. You know, so it's not like he's got a lot of time left whenever this transition happens. And you got to think, regardless of QB, like if Aaron's there next year or not, they're going to be a vastly different team next year just because of the salary cap. You know, like the choices yeah. they're going to have to make. And I think for Murphy, it's interesting because he did kind of preside, obviously preside over the transition from Ted to Brian. I think a lot will be made about how long Ted was allowed to operate and be in charge for as long as he was. A lot. And then there was, you know, the whole thing about, oh, Russ Ball was starting to make some calls and Ted wasn't really all there medically. And uh, did Murphy wait too long in that regard? But I think all, not maybe not all, but a lot of that gets wiped off the map if they win a Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like if they Mm -hmm. win this Super Bowl, I think a lot of that gets kind of lost in the wash. I think I get not forgotten I, by history, I, not by nerds like us. I agree with but, you. But I the, agree with you. I'll never forget. Great, I'll for, no, never forget won't. that he waited two years too long, at right. least two years, maybe three. And, right. and, you know, honestly, you know, he's got title town, which people are going to say, what is that? But that's a huge deal. It's because a title huge town, feather in more his than cap likely is what it is. is yeah. Title Town is amazing. They've made a lot of mistakes with the local community. They just typical Packers, right? They've done that <laughs> in their history, so there's nothing new there, <laughs> right, right? Right. But right. like ultimately, you know, they've made this beautiful asset in Green Bay that will will have a legacy of its own. And yeah, you're right. I think uh, if uh, we win a Super Bowl, uh, it definitely washes away most of Mark Murphy's stuff. Um, as far as like not not getting Ted and and also the other NFC championships that we couldn't put over the top. Right. Um... And then, and then just to wrap it up on, on Murphy, it is kind of interesting that he is the guy who literally arrived on the scene and then instantly had to deal with the entirety of the Brett Favre drama and then has been around for this you know, decade plus. And now, you know, this summer, so many people were saying, you know, he, did the, he was there for Favre and now Rodgers is upset and he clearly can't manage these superstar quarterbacks, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I think a lot of that, gets maybe not forgotten about, but doesn't get brought up in the first line of his bio, wherever it might be printed, if they win the Super Bowl. You mean you um, didn't tell Lonnie we're talking about Brian. But Lonnie can't read your mind, Nagler, so you got to tell no, her I didn't, we're, I didn't, we're talking I didn't, about I Brian still, now. I, no, no, oh, no. I thought no, you no, moved on to Brian. No, I just wrapped up oh, okay. on Murphy. And now oh, yeah, you're, we're going to talk about Brian Gutekunst. me. But now we're going to talk about <laughs> Brian Gutekunst. Brian okay. Gutekunst. Brian, obviously, was there to help as far as Picking Matt LaFleur as the coach. Didn't have final say, but he was in part of that conversation. Um, has done an amazing job with the roster. 
Mm-hmm. If they lose and they don't get to the Super Bowl and win it, and then let's say, you know, obviously the, the big question mark is Aaron Rodgers this offseason. But as we just talked about, the roster is going to be vastly different regardless of what happens with the quarterback. If they miss their shot this year, what does that do to Brian's legacy? Nothing. Not a thing? No. Nothing. Zero things. So wait. No you know, things? The next thing. No, no things. Because the next thing that affects Brian's legacy is only one thing. Okay? In my opinion. Who's the next quarterback right? is? Right. You got it. And whether that person <laughs> is the heir apparent and whether he's successful at his job and wins a Super Bowl. That's – Brian is going – like, here's the thing. Brian is so young and he is so well regarded in the industry, in right. the – in everything. I mean, this is a guy that got us Devondre Campbell and Russell Douglas. The guy, Zadarius Smith, uh, Preston right. Smith. Um, Jair, you know, Elton uh, Jenkins. Uh, Jair. Like, you know. The list but, is long. But, like, just his free market savvy is so mm-hmm. good compared to Ted. I'm sorry. Like, he, he's got he's Ted a in little his bit way more adventurous. as far yes, as free no agents, doubt. right? No, no doubt. And yeah. so here's a guy, like, you cannot look at him and go, man, he doesn't have any talent. They, this guy is one of the most talented. <laughs> even He's one of the most talented uh, uh, pickers of football men, players in the world, right, for right. for a guy that does a job. So the next thing for his legacy, really, yeah, does it help his legacy? Yes. But does it hurt him? I just don't think over time. I think he's going to be judged on one thing, and that's going to be whether Jordan Love was the right move over Aaron Rodgers right. in the draft. That's, that, is a, that is an excellent point, and I – Mostly agree with that. Um, Speaking of the quarterback, Aaron Charles Rodgers. Now, we all know it's been well documented. We talked about it all offseason in the the wake of the drama. Um, What happens for Aaron Rodgers if they win the Super Bowl and then the Packers trade him? What happens to Aaron Rodgers if they lose the Super Bowl and the Packers trade him? What happens to Aaron Rodgers' legacy if – they win the Super Bowl and he retires. These are the three scenarios, Banky. Okay. So if he win, wait, wait, what were they? If he win the, the Super Bowl, Bowl and and then they trade him for a boatload okay, of picks. Okay, that's gonna happen. So that's what's gonna happen. Okay, <laughs> okay. that's 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 what's gonna happen. And me yeah. as a Packers fan, deep down in my heart, I hope happens. Right. What I really, really? hope, like, wow. it would be the. Yes, for okay. but, but it's only based on where the salary cap is, where we are, right. Right. what's going on. You know, I just look at how Favre was. Do you think Favre could have won a Super Bowl, like, after he left in 2007? I don't. I mean, he came damn close with the Vikings, you know. And He's then what did he do? What did he do? And then what did he do? He pulled hey! a Favre. <laughs> yeah, he but did hey, exactly hey, what he did in 2007. Aaron Rodgers is no Favre. You know, I think no, he's not. Aaron no, goes he's to a not. team where they build around him and you know give him a bunch of weapons. He could do. You could pull a Brady. But that he's gonna. Me. But here's the thing, though. He's gonna go to the team that right. pays the most monies. That's also on his list. That gives. Right? So he's not gives the most assets yeah. for the Packers. Right? Yes. Right. So okay. So what was the second? So that's and here's why I hope because here's what I really want. I want the ultimate double up. Can you imagine? <laughs> and okay, everybody's gonna say this is impossible, but right. But imagine, imagine. Right. Imagine a man who wins the Super Bowl and then is traded by his team. (laughs) And then the heir apparent comes along and wins the Super Bowl. And the Packers win back-to-back Super Bowls with two different quarterbacks. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, Corey, I love, so badly. I, I love this idea, <laughs> but I would probably put, try to put your headspace much more in 2008, 2000, maybe 2009. I don't like you. Rather than I don't like 2010. You. Okay. All right. I don't I'm like just you. Saying, okay. What was the, what was saying. the second thing? Oh, so, so then, the second okay. Thing was... they, lo- they lose the Super Bowl. So Aaron Rodgers gets to a Super Bowl. Finally, after God, 10 fucking years plus finally gets to the big stage. And the Packers lose, and then they trade him. So now he's, you know, all these losses in NFC Championship games, finally gets to the Super Bowl, they lose that one, and then they trade him. What's the legacy? 
Mm, what is his legacy? I mean, he, look, Aaron Rodgers, just like Brett Favre, he won one Super Bowl. So to me, his legacy as a Green Bay Packer has already solidified. So anything he gives us, right? If you if you can deliver a world championship to the winningest world championship team in the history <laughs> of the universe, right? You doing you're doing good, right? Like right. what else do you want? Like anything else? It's like it's like having extra gravy. It's like that second helping of you know uh, turkey <laughs> at Thanksgiving. It's like, do you really need it? You know, you're kind of hypoglycemic. You know, like we might have to call the ambulance because you ate too much food, fatty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Sometimes you just got to be grateful for what you have. So what does it do? Now, here's the thing. If he goes to another team and he wins the Super Bowl, who man, ah. Packers fans oh. are going e. to go. If he loses the Super Bowl, then he goes to the Chargers or the Rams or wherever the hell he's going and Steelers, wins. Steelers, probably. Steelers. Right. Oh, my God. Can you think? Oh, wow. Went to the Steelers. Wow, that's oh, crazy. That's, and then that's he my, wins with the Steelers. Uh, that's insane. I don't even know what that crazy. does. That, that turns his legacy on its head. I mean, it. it you know what it does is it is it turns it, – it, well, it, it, it catapults, it, clearly, it transcends him. He becomes exactly. Michael Jordan, right? He become well, that's the thing. I think for him, it becomes a real kind of – obviously, it, it bolsters him. It makes him – superhuman etc to do it with two separate teams much like brady did but then it, tur- it makes the packers look real bad like real bad if they the steelers who you know barely backed into the playoffs this year you know suddenly turn around and win a championship because they got aaron Rodgers, and the packers have been spending a damn decade trying to do it and they can't and then all of a sudden he just goes someplace and does it Oh man, don't don't check your Twitter mentions mentions that day, my friend. That's all I can say about no. that. So um, wait, what's the third thing? And then the third one is they win the Super Bowl, and he retires. I mean, he just go. That's that's what. Here, here's the thing: if he does that, which I think mm-hmm. there's no way he does. I think that, there's right? a, I no. Just, I think there's a. I do think there's a legit possibility. Do I think it's likely? No. But okay, it, it also wouldn't shock me. If he won the Super Bowl, had another Lombardi on his resume, and just said, peace, it would not surprise me at all. As he himself I mean, said thing, a couple like, weeks ago, you know, he, it's not out yep. of the realm of possibility. Right, but he has to say that because he's in negotiation. But here's the thing, <laughs> Fair though. Point. So, Fair point. So, you know, every as as we learn, Nagler, everything is a negotiation in everything. Very true. And that, that's taken me I'm, – I'm in my 40s, and I had to relearn that a couple times. <laughs> so um, here's the thing. If he – if he wins the Super Bowl and he retires, he does exactly what Brett Favre said he would do his entire – that he wanted to do. And honestly, right. when you can go out a champion, there's that's how you go out. Like, that's it. So it's like – I got to think that would be really, kind of really tempting. Yeah, exactly. I think that's got to be really tempting. And I know he has spoken often in previous years about wanting to play – Five more years. He's said he's on the back nine of his career. Wants to play till he's 44 or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, I, man, I don't know. There's something about the way he said, both on McAfee and then when Jason did the follow-up for the press availability, and he said, I, I, I'm glad you asked. He said that to Jason about cl- you know clarifying this. Like, I definitely would not take that off the table. It's definitely a possibility regarding retirement. I'm telling you, man, I, if he if they won the Super Bowl – I think he would give it some serious consideration, and he would go out as an absolute legend. You know what I mean? Like you, would. you go out on the top. You won two Super Bowls with, as you say, the the team that has more championships than anybody else in the league, and two of those are yours. I mean, it's, it's it, that would be hard. I would think to, to completely dismiss. Now, who knows? Like you may, he may get there and feel disrespected by the Packers or something. If maybe the I just talks in talks the modern go day era, or whatever, with, like whatever. With Brady doing what he did in the modern day era and what these guys work out at, I just do not right. see him giving up another. 50 I don't, I'm or with you. I, I, I don't think in again, legacy money, right? And that's you know the I mean? other like, thing. How much more money bro. can he make in the next four or five years by continuing to play? Even if he goes crazy to a bad team, money. you know what I mean? Like crazy he money. can make some like, serious like, yeah. scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he can, yeah, super yacht money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> IMAX theater on your yacht money, like, big time. Yep. Um, all right, and the final, final, final guy, Mr. Fedora himself, Matt Lafleur. Now, obviously, he's only three years in. He's barely got yeah. a legacy, right? 
But this kind of puts down a really nice foundation for starting to build one. Like, if you're talking about the winningest coach ever, which is where he's headed, especially if they take this run and go win a championship, um, for his first three years, uh, you talk about negotiations. What's his contract? I think it's like a five-year deal. He'll have two more years left on it. He'll be ready to say, yo, Packers, you're, you're dallying Extend around me. with this quarterback. And uh, who knows when we have to turn to Jordan Love. I would like to uh, talk about a renegotiation. Um, yeah. But his legacy but starts thing, off though, in a pretty if, damn good spot. He, here's the thing, though. I mean, we talk about the fact that, you know, if he wins the Super Bowl, he's going to win a fedora. And you talk about the three <laughs> other winning his coaches who all wore fedoras. And – I got you got to imagine his legacy is where it is right now because he is the most winning winningest coach right now. Even right. if like the thing is, okay, if you go to the playoffs and you never win at the playoffs, he's already proven he can win in the playoffs, right? Right. So yep. that's not an issue. That becomes a stigma, right? If you just yes. go to the NFC Championship and you don't win the NFC Championship, unless you were literally born like 10 years <laughs> ago and you have a golden spoon in your hand, you understand how hard it is to win a championship football game in today's yes. modern NFL. Yes. It's incredibly difficult, and right. you know we just haven't found a way to get it done. And so I just think you know if he goes – the thing about Matt and Coach is that he's so relentless, and you just feel like this is only the beginning. Like, yes. unless people get sick of yes. what he's going to say, we have well, a legacy the, the coach message, regardless exactly. of what happens in the next three games, in my opinion. Right, right. And I, 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 will, I will say this, because I'm sure, I haven't looked, because God knows, uh, I haven't looked at the comments while we're, while we're doing this. I have zero doubt someone somewhere is saying, why are you talking about the Super Bowl? They have to play the game on Saturday night. And you are right, and you are correct, a thousand percent, as Matt LaFleur himself would say, got to go 1-0 every week. But look. This is the start of the playoffs. There is yep. every chance they lose on Saturday night. I know. No one yep. wants to think about it. No one wants to talk about it. Lose. We all, we all think you know, we're, we're marching to the Super Bowl, and it's great, and I'm with you. But imagine the talk that starts legacy-wise if they lose on Saturday night because it absolutely will. It, it kickstarts the Rodgers discussion. It kickstarts the whole – Failure in the playoffs thing, having never gotten back to a Super Bowl in over a decade, etc. All of that starts Sunday morning. So we're talking legacies right now to get ahead yeah. of this championship run this team is about to go on. Because that's but what I'm, I'm talking I'm about. telling you, this is the second transplants. I'm telling people, I know I don't tell you what's going to happen, but I am telling you, <laughs> by the end of the season, the Packers are going to trade Aaron Rodgers. So just start getting used to it because... Wow. All signs. Corey Banky. Corey Banky calling his shot. I, I like it. I like it. Um, all right. Speaking of Saturday night, let's look at the 49ers. Let's take a look at this team who, hey, they went down there and they took care of business down in Dallas. Before we talk about the 49ers real quick, let's talk about Mike McCarthy losing a playoff game and how Packers fans on Twitter were fucking relentless at the end of that game. Like, oh, yep, there's Mike McCarthy screwing up time management. There's Mike McCarthy losing in the playoffs. Y'all have fun with him, Dallas. Like, holy cow. The schadenfreude wow. was incredible. It was amazing. I just want to give a shout-out to every Packers fan who took the opportunity to roast Dallas fans because it was hilarious. <laughs> I was crying. I was laughing so hard. That stuff was so good. All right, all right. The 49ers, Saturday night, coming into Lambeau Field. A lot of people looking at this week three matchup that the Packers won. Very different team, obviously, um, both the Packers and the 49ers. The biggest difference on offense for the 49ers, I would say, uh, everyone's been talking about Debo Samuel for good reason. He is a beast. He is insane. He is an excellent yeah. football player. But I'm telling you, this rookie running back that they have, Elijah Mitchell, He's legit, yep. man. He is a phenomenal player, and he did not play in that week three game. Uh, you talk about a kid who knows how to set up his blocks, does a phenomenal job in the zone scheme of getting that kind of push early and then seeing that backside cut, putting his foot in the ground and getting upfield. He is phenomenal. So I, I, I'm not, not scared of the guy. I think the Packers got something for him, but he is, he is a threat. His, he is super talented. So um, that is definitely something to watch for. Um, for the 49ers on defense, their secondary, 
whoo, baby. I know everyone wants to talk about their pass rush, and I understand it. They are formidable up front. But their secondary, they are the worst secondary in the league when it comes to giving up nice. big plays, explosive Too plays. Too bad MBS isn't there. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's still early in the week. Bummer. Hopefully, maybe he'll be That's back out you know, tomorrow. Hope but so. this that would team, be really nice. if you can block it up, there are plenty of opportunities deep against the 49ers. So hopefully we see one or two shot plays called on uh, Saturday night because I mean, the corners, they're burnt toast against the Packers wide receivers. Zero question. <clears throat> Speaking of uh, quarterbacks in the passing game, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo showing all you need to know in that Cowboys game, a turnover quarterback, turnover prone quarterback, uh, I don't mean to be so dismissive of Jimmy because I think he's played pretty damn good football down the stretch here for the 49ers. He is, um, yeah. you know, a, a reason. I won't say even a major reason, but he's a reason that they're, they are where they are. He's made some big-time throws. But, man, he puts the ball in jeopardy at least two or three times every single game. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing. doesn't matter the level of competition. doesn't matter what the secondary is. Like, he will give you a couple. It's like they always used to yeah. say about Brett. It's He's going to throw you a couple. Just make sure you hang yep. on to them. You know, the Packers got him last time they played. They should be able to get him this time. And I'm telling you right now, oh, my God, please, baby Jesus, I just want a Razul Douglas pick six. That's all I want in life so nice. on Saturday night. It's all I want. I don't think I want, that's I want it like 2010 where it's like Tremont, where it's like we just get it. <laughs> right before half, sweet. right? That would be, be, really that'd be dope. Um, and then finally, the final note on the 49ers. Uh, Bosa, Nick Bosa, their star pass rusher, still in concussion protocol. They are hopeful he will be able to play on Saturday night. They're hoping it looks like he's trending towards clearing protocol. He's a problem. There's no doubt about it. But, hey, look who's probably back. It'd be one David Bakhtiari, which would be pretty That's nice. About to Although, say, I was like, I got, a, I got a problem solver that has the <laughs> number 69 with Bosa's name on it. Every time Absolutely. he's been in, Bosa has not been damaging to us. So, I thought, well, in San Francisco, we'll he's gotten them a couple times. But I think overall, yeah. And then you throw in, obviously, they don't have Tunyon this time around, but you got to think Lazard will be there chipping much like he was back yep. in week three. They'll probably have Big Dog in there to help sometimes, too. Um, he's a game record. There's no doubt about it. They've got a great front. Um, at, at back, a middle backer, of course, yeah, they have Fred Warner, who's awesome. And I know he's supposed to play. That they're hopeful that he's going to play as well. I know he got dinged up in Dallas. But Bosa, concussion protocol, probably going to play. So got to be wary. Look for Aaron Rodgers to get the ball out of his hand real quick, much like he did against yep. the 49ers, you know. Um, all right, you ready, Bank- you ready yeah. Banky? All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm ready. All let's right, do it. let's do it. <laughs> This week in the Packer Blogosphere! That's right! It's this week in the Packer Blogosphere! The return of that venerable series. Corey Banky. Um, there's yeah. this entity called Sportsnet that I've never heard of. Um, but never heard of they it. have an they have an amazing video with Aaron Rodgers this week on YouTube that yeah, I, I highly it. I encourage it. everybody really to like check it. out if you haven't. Uh, here's a short clip from Drone Jeopardy. Drone Jeopardy on Sportsnet. Let's take a look. The answer, commonly referred to as a pick six, this player scored two of them. You talking about Rasul Douglas? Picked off Rasul Douglas. Another pick six for Rasul Douglas. Back to back games with pick six. Dude, I I can't ever nice. ever ever say Rasul Douglas without going Rasul Douglas. <laughs> like I that's I'm gonna it's have true. to now. I have to for the rest of my life. Um, it is it is so much fun. That video is they do a bit about AJ's legs. They they take the piss out of Aaron. It is so much yep. fun. Highly recommend it. Drone Jeopardy Good with video. Aaron Rodgers. Go go search it out. It's a it's a ton of fun. Hey, speaking of a ton of fun, let's give a shout out to our friends over at DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, people. You want to do it. I know it's not available in every state, but if it is available in your state, download it and use promo code CHEESEHEAD. That's promo code CHEESEHEAD. You can do not just games. Of course, you can do betting on the games, but you can do player parlays. 
You can do live bets, anything and everything, essentially. And it's not just football. You can do NFL. You can do NBA. You can do NHL. You can do whatever you want. Just remember to use the promo code CHEESEHEAD. I cannot stress that enough. Promo code CHEESEHEAD on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Do it, people. You know you want to win some money. Corey Banke, uh, I'm going to win some money this weekend on the on the divisional playoffs. That's what I'm going to do. That's my idea. All right, let's. Uh, okay. Should we talk to some fine folks in uh, the comment section? As it yeah, uh, we got uh, first one. We got is Mike Witt. Will Packer Mike. Man be on the watch party Saturday night? That's the first 100%. Uh, one hundred percent. We'll see if one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Packer Man. Okay. I will be watching the game in this room with Packer Man. Correct. And then we got Justin Wilkie. I want Corey to see a playoff victory in person. Me too. Although I have seen a few. <laughs> seen I saw plenty. last. I saw uh, two years ago playoff victory. I saw, I've seen them. I've seen like, you know, probably like eight to ten. I just have seen a lot of losses. So, you know, you remember <laughs> those. Then we got Big B. What's up, Big B? What's up, Big B? We winning. I like it. I like your I like your attitude. I said this too. I have not. I, literally, while Aaron was talking about the 49ers, I was just like, la, 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 la. I had like rainbows and sherbet in my brain. It was just really funny. I was just not paying attention because I don't really care who we're playing because we're winning. So then we got Dustin Shewitt. Dustin, thanks for Super Chat. Hey, guys, thanks for doing this. First time I've caught transplants live in a while. Packers 40 to 21. Book it. Book it, Appreciate Dano. You, Justin. I like it. Appreciate the super chat. Aaron Gonzalez, anyone worried about Debo Samuel running all over us needs to watch this week's Rock Report. Check the tape. We almost played Rock Report today. Love me some Rock Report. Uh, Aaron, thanks for the super chat. Then we got Dustin again. Dustin, just walked past a Bears fan while the oh, hype man. video was blaring on my phone. He looked confused. I said, it's a playoff football thing you wouldn't understand. Oh, oh. Violet's Dog Fun, Pappy's Unleash Z. That's a that's a great one. That's, that's yeah, a, you lot, know, a lot going the, on there. Um, the, uh, wait, I got to go back here. Uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, I'm going to add this one to add. Do, do, do. Oh. Got got some ads. Hold on, Nagler. Hold on, Nagler. I'm working I'm here. Holding. I'm working I'm here, holding, Nagler. Man. You work it, baby. I'm working hey. here. Then we got uh, next one. Hold on. I got to go down here. What happened? Uh, <laughs> Ian. Ian. What's Thanks up, Super Ian? Chat. What's up, buddy? Everyone, please become a Patreon. Corey, so pumped you're going. Nags, nice acknowledgement from 12 and coach this week. Ian, MD Packers fan. Ian, what's up? Thanks for the Super Chat. Appreciate you as always. Uh, yes, you guys are going to see a new credits. So if you stick around, you're going to see the special new credits for the season because Nagler just basically got mad because I would always say when when coach in the old credits, coach would be like, uh, uh, he would say something. You hear Nagler go, "That's not my job." That's not and my like job. literally during the credits, I would just make fun of him. So he finally found a clip to replace it, so he doesn't have to hear me say that. So I just want to say that out loud. So appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> a nuclear family super chat. Thank you. I feel like Jair, Z, Bakhtiari, and Merciless could make the Jags a playoff team. Add them to the number one seed, and you've got a Super Bowl. Destroy them, Niners. I like the. Way That's what I'm think. talking like about. Now you're think. talking. Now you're talking. Luke. Ca- Luke Carnes, thanks for Super Chat. Building IKEA furniture for my wife right now as I'm listening to you guys. Thanks for keeping me sane. Carry the G, we winning. Luke, Luke, that's some serious uh, stuff. Just follow the directions, bro. Just follow the directions. (laughs) Colin O'Keefe, thanks for Super Chat. Let's get multiple 2010 divisional round performances from QB1. Thanks for all you do, gents. Thank you, Colin. I like it. Appreciate it. Appreciate uh, the shout out. Randy Clancy on Facebook. Ready? One, two, three. Super Bowl bound. Randy, thanks for joining us on Facebook. Appreciate that. Ian. It would be awesome to get Kurt Bankert on the show. Can you ask him? We will all retweet it and hound him. He's a great dude and teammate. Okay, Ian. You know, he's on – He's you get you get a lot of banker on, uh, on – What's that Tom Grassi? What's that guy, Tom Grassi? He's, uh, he's, Pat that's, Cass. That's a, that's Tom thing, Grassi. Right? Yeah, yeah, Pat yeah. Cass. He's on that. He's got I, – I watch that. Um, yeah, I'd love to get Kurt on the show. I don't think we need to hound him, but uh, love to get him on the show. You know, if he wants to be on the same coach show the coach is on, you know, he might want to he might want to join. Uh, give, give Zach, Packers win the Super Bowl and returns to the Packers. So that's, that's Zach I on Facebook that's in, saying Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers refer- right, right, yep. right. Hundred percent possible, Justin. Possible. We ha- thanks for the super chat. We have zero excuses this year to not represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. I don't I'm know down. about zero. Zero. I don't know about zero. Zero. I don't know about zero. Zero. I don't know about zero. Unless they don't show up. I mean, that's it. That's the excuse. 
They don't show up. Krista, Krista, thanks for joining us all season. We are Hi, marching the Super Bowl. It's happening. Okay, okay. I like That's the way it. I like I like That's your it. attitude. Krista Most knows what's hated up. Minnesotan, an amazing thirty nine ten regular season record fedora fund. Um, yeah, it is. It is pretty amazing. Coach's record, uh, even with Aaron Rodgers, even considering every, even with Goody giving him the good picks. Jocelyn, thanks for the super chat. Key, if GB can, Green Bay can slow run from nickel. If not, who's third off ball linebacker? Maybe mix in a five two. Ooh, I think they'll get, be uh, getting all up in the. the she's go got ahead. Jocelyn knows her X's and O's. She's always commenting. Um, I said on daily this morning. I think we'll see five man line. Uh, they've been doing. They've been sprinkling it in kind of intermittently throughout the season. We saw a lot of it in training camp. I thought we'd see more of it throughout the season, but I absolutely think you will see uh, some 5-2. No question about it. Uh, then we got Jocelyn again. Jocelyn saying, fully expect a Trey Lance package. So Jocelyn just yes. went completely over my head, so I don't even know what Trey Lance about, is their, yeah. rookie, okay. their rookie quarterback. Um, I think there's a good possibility we see some of that, especially given what the Detroit Lions put on tape with their trick plays. Got to think they're going to try and maybe not pull out all the stops, but they will have some really interesting creative stuff to try and take advantage of the Packers, no doubt. Then we got Nathan. Nathan Chalmers, thanks for Super Chat. Jimmy Garbaggio, enough said. Packers <laughs> and 50 burger. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. Garbaggio. Jason Toppy on Facebook. <laughs> thanks for watching us on Facebook. I think if we stop the run, we'll be fine. Plus, it's 1-0 and every week for the next three weeks. So let's bring the Lombardi Trophy home where it belongs in Green Bay. Go Pack Down Go. Down with that. Down with that. I like it. Nathan like Chalmers, it. Sportsnet is Canadian, Nags. Come on, man. Nobody. Okay. Okay, wait. Get, so, take me in camera. Nathan, take, take why the hell would I know that? No one cares about Canada <laughs> in the U.S. That's my song. I love you, Canada. I love you. I love everyone in Canada. He just doesn't but care about I'm just, it. <laughs> no one cares. No one cares. Like, we don't watch Canadian shows. This is not how it I, works. You know wait what I'm a saying? second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm being taken to task for not knowing about them, and I literally just gave them a shout-out on our channel? Come on, But you Nathan. didn't say Canada, so Canadians are mad. Oh, so you Canadians get all upset. Yeah, although, whatever. although the Packers do care about Canadians because they opened up the stock sales to Canadians. They did That's indeed. the only nationality that you can be. So, hey, shout out to yeah. Canada. And you know what? I Packers owners. Canada. I'm just playing. I'm totally just playing Canada. <laughs> Ian, thanks to Super Chat. Corey, will you video in from the game during Roll Out the Barrel, please? Best experience at Lambeau. Love you guys. Ian, you know what? I'm going to try to video in the game, but I think I'm going to try to do it at halftime. I'm going to try to do some right. halftime. Um, so we'll get yeah, some banky from the, the bowl and Lambeau field. I'm going to no try. We're going to see how the latency is and, and all that kind of stuff. And it'll right. be fun. Uh, Mr. JJ, Corey, will you be able to hook up the camera so we can see Lambeau field live and the fireworks for this upcoming game? Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm planning on, I am, I do think, uh, Nagler, I, I haven't it. talked to you about this yet, but we didn't talk yes, about sir. it in the Chiefs head TV meeting, but I think mm -hmm. we should for the playoffs have a Lambo cam that's two hours early so we can like plug that. You know what I mean? We, Hey, we, we did do what we did for last NFC. year for the NFC championship game. NFC we should absolutely do, we it should do it for every playoff game. Yes. hundred percent. Yeah, so, uh, totally agree. we're going to do that. I'm going to set it up and it's going to be fun. And then, uh, it'll, it'll be, it'll be great. That'd so be yeah, cool I'll, we'll set it up. We'll set it up. Uh, we'll have it going, and um, Jeremy, I think, is producing the show, so we'll be able to see that. Cool. Then we got Shane Shepik on Facebook. Banky, where are your seats? i got to high-five those gloves. Shane, <laughs> I'm going to be up in the club seats. I don't know what number, but I'm going to be up um, hanging out with my man, Matt Labazetta, who I've known. What's actually up, went, Labazetta? Uh, met, met, met Matt at the 2010 Super Bowl uh, back in the day, and uh, he now is a, a neighbor of mine in Green Bay. He has a house on um, in near Shadow Lane, and uh, he's going to be there, and he's been literally called me every other day. He convinced Nagler not to do watch party with me. He's he's gone over the top to make sure oh, that man. we can go to the game together. So he it's has been be a giving you the full in, court press for a while now. But Shane, yeah. to answer your question, uh, you know you can find uh, me normally, and on NFC Championship game, you'll find me in uh, section 122, where all the cool kids sit. Uncultured <laughs> barbarian. With the super chat, I would love to hear Roger say, "Is that a pancreas?" While audibling Saturday night, <laughs> is that a pancreas? Hilarious, as always, so good, so good. What's up, uh, culture? What, wait, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm doing some. I'm doing some. Wow, man, super chats are off the chain today. Off the chain. I can't the believe chain. it. <laughs> uh, what happened? Okay, here we go. Ian, again. Ian, Ian, getting crazy. Ian. Super chat. Nags, can we hear you say? Big B is here. Always great to hear in the morning chat. 
So uh, Big, you got that. Big B is here. Love it when Big B nice. is here. Big B is I the man. Big Jeff Razek. Uh, Jeff, legacy question. What roads are renamed for Coach and 12 after the Super Bowl? Here's the thing. Good question. Where your road is matters, okay? So it's interesting. It's very interesting where Holmgren Way is compared to, like, where McCarthy Way is. McCarthy where Way. Right. I, I imagine, I mean, if I was the Packers, okay, I would, well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. if Aaron, Does Aaron Rodgers deserve to have Ridge Road renamed after him? I was right just going to say, at some point, Ridge has got to get renamed, right? Like, that's one Ridge, of the You can't rename Oneida because – you can't rename no, Oneida because no, technically no, it's Oneida's no land. Chance. So, you know, yep. I don't want to hate no on chance. that. No, but no. Like, but Ridge, Ridge is right Road. for the picking. Ridge Road becomes LaFleur Lane. Yeah. Market zero. Ooh, that would be nice. If he wins the Super Bowl, I'm down with that. Got to do, do it. Hey, I'll see, on LaFleur. I'll see you on LaFleur. I'll see you on LaFleur Lane. I'll see on LaFleur Lane. Uh, then we got Marshall Duke. Marshall win Super Bowl, resign twelve for five years, trade love for Juju. I'm not I'm not down <laughs> Marshall, but I appreciate the super chat. I uh, I I don't I'm what did yeah, Ted, I'm not, what did Ted always I'm used just, to say? This isn't fantasy football. I'm just not down with it. I'm just not down with it. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Weiss Corbley. I hope I said your name right. Love Corey. It doesn't matter who we're playing because we're winning. That's right. That's right. Word. It's the truth. It's the truth. Everything else is hot air and somebody trying to sell you something. Pack fan 39, thanks for the super chat. Think they run the think they can run well on the Niners? Yeah, I think they can be effective. Um I, I want them I to commit to it. I think they can do it. I I really hope they use AJ Dillon early. Um they l- obviously love Aaron Jones for good reason. He's a super talented guy, but man, if there's a game in the cold Saturday night, you know, Get that big ass bludgeon of a back, run it down their throat, and then bring in Aaron Jones to a tired, grasping at straws defense. I mean, I hope that's the approach. I doubt it will be though. But that's how I would go about it. I, I but I yes, to answer your question, I absolutely hundred percent think they will be able to run the ball effectively. Yes. Nashman, Packers win the coin toss, odds they keep the ball. Mm. Good question. I've been talking about this. On daily this week, I I think I hope they take the ball and score early and get the 49ers chasing it. Um, I doubt this happens, though. I think if they win the toss, they will defer. That would be my guess. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, I don't think I think uh, and, you know, coach knows better than me, but I don't think coach has gotten out of his head on some of this stuff um, because he's still in that. He's still in that mindset that they're all in. Um, when I say them, I mean who he's playing, his friends, Kyle Shanahan, you know, right. like all the way yeah, that yeah, they yeah. all think is like headspace crazy and not simple like <laughs> stuff. But right. anyway, most hated Minnesotan, thanks for the Super Chat, decided Sunday night that I'm carrying the G and going to the game. I'll see you there, Corey. Awesome. awesome. That's awesome that you're going to the game. Have a great time um, at the game, man. That's dope. Oh, wait, I – Oh shit! I, how did I miss a super chat? I miss Mark's super chat, and it's just Mark. because I'm an idiot. Mark, I'm sorry. I'm looking. People <laughs> send are letters bored to now. Corey. I don't send, letters to Corey. I don't even. I don't even have Care Corey at Cheese at TV. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, here it is. I got it, Lonnie. You're not going to be able to find it, so uh, it's going to be fun. But uh, Mark said <laughs> super chat from Mark. Can I buy the fedora? You know what? We need to have a fedora. Oh, look at Lonnie. Lonnie. La- See well what I done, said? Lonnie. Lonnie is like the superstar. She's like right? when 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 you're live, if you're live live, Lonnie's like, I fucking Lonnie's got on this. it. If you're rehearsing, but in rehearsal, Lonnie's like, practice. Lonnie's like, practice. You talking is, about practice? She is the AI of graphics like, operators. F There's that. zero question. She's like, I don't practice. We talking about practice. practice. <laughs> talking about practice up in here. Um, so, uh, thanks for that. Uh, then we got Rick Hammond, Rick. Ham- oh, damn people. We're trying to end the show. I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta pick up some cat Packers collectibles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got some Packers collectibles to collect tonight. Uh, Rick, so we have a Patreon uh, shout out. What's up, Rick? How you doing? Thanks, buddy? Rick. Appreciate you. Uh, Nathan Chalmers. Thanks for super chat. Canada is an actual vacation destination. True. And so is green Bay. And I love Canada. Oh God. Just giving it a Nathan, little, you know, Nathan, you're coming close you to know, touching the third rail there, buddy. Don't okay. do it. 
Okay. Don't do it. Okay. You know this is a Green Bay Packers show, okay? This is a Green Bay Packers show. Green Bay is a vacation <laughs> destination. I love Canada. I've been many times. I love the Stratford Festival. I have friends that are at the Stratford Festival that I love, that I love to see. I love Canada. It's awesome. And also, no one watches any Canada shows. So they can both be true, okay? Rick Hammond, thanks <laughs> for Super Chat. Also, we got D. Waxen, uh, and the Super Chats never end. Three more victories. Go, Pack, go. That's I what think, I'm talking oh, about. Uh, no, we got we got one more. We got one. We got All one, right, more. one more. All one right. More. So here we go. We got Timbo Slice. Timbo Slice. If they plan on trading Rodgers, it needs to happen early off season out of respect for love. Don't need another Favre. And and I, I do that. think that would be the absolute plan. I think Aaron has intimated that whatever happens, he doesn't want it to linger on into the off season to spare Corey Banky's sensitive nature. Hopefully everything gets wrapped up sooner rather than later. Very much agreed. Last super chat, most hated Minnesotan Packers collectibles fund. Last super chat. Everybody's trying to get the last super chat now. Okay, that's, that's the last. Me- last that's super the last chat. super chat. That's it. Thank you guys for the super chat. Really appreciate your support this really season. Really appreciate the support. You know, we hey, we will hey, be hey, back hey. no matter what. So no matter what, we'll be back next week. Uh, and but speaking of support, let's give a shout out to our Patreon members. You guys really are the life blood of Cheesehead TV. We cannot thank you guys enough for your support. I was looking over like how it's grown over the past year is pretty amazing. The community, we have our happy hour tomorrow night. The information is on the Patreon page. If you want to join us, all we ask is $5 a month. It supports everything we do. There are different levels you can join at, but $5 a month is the baseline. We thank you guys so much for your support. It really drives everything we do. So thank you, Patreon members, uh, from the bottom 100%. of our hearts, seriously, thank you so much. Sorry I haven't been in the Zooms. I know you guys miss me, but you don't really. Very much Aaron so, Bank. We got we need some break. Cream City Brick discourse up in this happy hour piece. Come on now. You got I anything else Cream before? I know you do. You got anything speaking else before we head Cream out? Speaking of Cream City Brick, speaking oh boy, of Cream City go. Brick, so yes, I don't sir. know if you know this, but uh, the new Green Bay LiveX office has over 14,000 vintage Cream City Bricks and – We have created an Easter egg experience. What I mean by that is in the brick, there are actual Duck Creek brick, uh, uh, Ganyan brick, and uh, Hawker's brick. So you can find little logos from those things. There's a little duck brick. It's pretty cool. So uh, no one cares but me. But (laughs) anybody that gets a tour of the Green Bay, the new Green Bay LiveX facility at the cannery, so down at the rail yard looking at the receiver, it's pretty epic. And we're going to probably, when we open the space, we're going to have free tours uh, on Wednesdays when they have the farmer's market in downtown Green Bay. So, you know, if you're... It, we're going to definitely talk about it. We'll put it on Cheesehead TV. It'll be really cool. So anybody definitely. can actually get a tour of the facility. And, uh, you know, I love me some Cream City Brick. And I'll, I'll talk to your ear off about Cream City Brick when you come <laughs> see it. Oh, man. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, anything else before we head out and get ready for this Packers victory on Saturday night? Let's do it. Let's win. I love win, it. Baby, I win. love it. That'll do it for this episode of Packer Transplants. We'd like to thank everyone who makes Cheesehead TV part of their daily Packers routine. We are and will always be devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Like I said all along, we'll always take it one day at a time with him. Um, obviously, Nagler's not too enthused with my answer, obviously. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm just teasing Aaron. <laughs>